Hello everyone, Melma the Hedgehog here, and this is going to be my last video for about two weeks, or longer, because camp and such. Anyway, I want to talk about the Oosquitos. I was going to do this video earlier, but I got lazy and forgot. Anyway, it was my theory of how humans mutated into mutants in the new TMNT 2018 cartoon. Well, looks like I've eternally found my answer. This is the Turtlepedia for the Oosquitos. We don't have a picture yet, but uh, we basically like, uh... oh God, fuck, you just go back one step. Basically, uh, turning down the picture. There are these little guys that hang out with, um, oh, Fricky. Baron Draxum, you know, our main villain for a while, who tries to protect mutants. Turns out he also makes them. Well, he wouldn't be a freaking alchemist for nothing. It says here, the Oosquitos are insect-like creatures who appear in Rise of the TMNT series. Baron Draxum tries to mutate humans into them. First off, that kind of confused me when I read this because he wants to mutate everyone into mosquitoes. In the little information here, it says here that it can turn people into mutants via sting. And that is what I previously thought. So I guess my theory was correct. The mosquitoes are going to be responsible for mutations. Their home is the Hidden City, but I like to call it the Mystic City because reasons. Their ability is to turn people into mutants via the sting. The physical description is species mutant mosquitoes. There's no more information here. This is all we know about the mosquitoes. Now my question is, how do the mutations work? We already know that the mosquitoes inject the mutagen into the receiver's body, but how do they mutate into this certain animal? Like meat sweats into a pig or splinter into a turtle. I mean splinter into a rat, but blah 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 blah. blah. It probably works in the two most classic ways. One, it mutates you into the thing you've most likely been in interaction. It most transforms you into the thing that you have been most in contact with. But it has to be living. Or two, you mutate into the thing you've most recently came into contact with that is living. So either you mutate into the last thing you touched that was alive, or you mutate into the thing that you have been in most contact with. But maybe you can just mutate in general to anything of you last touching them. And like Garbage Joe, like Mr. Garbage Joe guy from 2012 who just mutated after being covered in mutagen and then coming into contact with garbage. So this is probably how the mutations work. You mutate into the last thing you touched. Now I still don't know this entirely, but I am glad to know that my theory of the mosquitoes being the transfers for the ooze is correct. Anyway, sorry for the short little video, cause again, not a lot to say here, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you another time. Bye!